And hello everyone, and welcome back to an all new episode of Rise of Flight. Flying with the Funky Reich. This is a joke I really had to make. <laughs> okay, let's start a new campaign, because our new port 28 pilot died. We are going for fly for the Deutsche Luftstreitkräfte. Which is a word I really like to say. So, many of you requested a false X2. And I'm going to give you the false 12. Because I am the dwarf pilot of yours. Oh yes, I am. So, um, two guys in particular asked for this. And it was uh, Walter Patton. I don't want to use the name Patton, but Walter's a German name, so I'm going with it. And Istro. And this is not German at all, so I'm going to change it a bit to Eistrubel. Eistrubel sounds German. Okay, we are flying for Bavaria. As you might have noticed, I changed the sample colors a bit to blue and white, because they are the colors of Bavaria. We are going to fly relatively late in the war, because this is where the faults shined the most. It never really shined. <laughs> this is... Um, the only way I can choose between different squadrons. We are in Commander. 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 Because I don't want to deal with the bullshit the AI is giving me. So we have multiple Yastas we could fly with. Yasta 5. So the reason to fly the Yasta 5 will be that one of the Yasta 5 guys shot down my um, Subway's Camel pilot. But well. I don't really want to fly there. I want to fly with the 76B Braillet d'Oyoir in France. Why? Because they have a really cool um, paint job. And I want to use that. You might have seen it in the thumbnail because I choose the thumbnail just because of this interesting kind of way to paint your aircraft. Sorry, my brain just gave out there for a sec. <laughs> okay, this is, a this is a joke only Germans will understand. Um, let's see who we have here. We got Mr. Eichstrubel, which I am, okay. Schnitzler, Katz, Menzing, Wolf, Gilger, Wechsel, Danneberg, Strebler, Wurzel. Okay, um, none of them is an ace. None of them has a victory. Some of them have doing uh, quite a lot of missions but not too much okay let's click through it we got Mr. Wurzel here he likes to looking at propellers uh, Bernhard Stäbler which gets a new picture because I already saw that <laughs> yeah, he, he's this guy I just love some of the pictures. Mr. Danneker. He looks like the kind of guy that likes to steal your food. Gerhard Wechsler. Reinhard Gilger. Oh, he's a dark fellow. Sven Wolf. This is not like a wolf. Oh yeah, he's a cool guy. Looks about the same, only with a different kind of... Oh, it's not changing in here. Oh, well, that's too bad. Anyway, I'm going to change this. Maybe it will change later. I don't know how this one works. Okay, I can let him be this way because this looks quite alright. Um, sorry, I had to change the music there. Um, Jürgen Katz! No, we can't let that happen. <laughs> Sorry, this is a German moderator. Uh, oh yeah, this, this, this is a fitting look for him. And Mr. Eichstrubel, oh he is uh, a good looking fellow. Uh, let's see if I can find something else. They want to look interesting, not good. <laughs> yeah, he's that guy. Uh, this is quite fitting. Okay, let's see. We have a pilot badge, of course, because we are in Bavaria. This basically says, I can play a play. And he can do it again. And nothing too cool. Okay, but let's look at the mental map. We are here at Dua. 
So compared to the rest of the world, this is Germany, and this is France. Okay, the of course the French are on the offensive, and we are right here, uh, Les Villiers du Bois. Uh, we are fighting against the uh, French advance. This is not French. This is all British, if I am right. La Target, yeah, R A F R A F, 70s arrow, more R F arrow. This should be American. Interesting. Okay, flying stoppers camel knows this is British. There's no way. Finished, and let's take a look at uh, Intel and Legends, not the Intel map. So let's see what we got here. Number two, number eight. We got everyone against us. So two seaters, more two seaters. SE five A, number forty squadron RF. Those are a problem. Camels. I can deal with camels. I'm pretty sure about that. More camels. Was a Bentley engine, SE five A, SE five A. So I eighty four sixty will be a problem. And I can't read the rest here. Too bad. Friendly squadrons. Okay. All everyone has a Fokker. Only the rest of five is also sporting the faults. Fokker, Fokker, more Fokker. Everyone has a Fokker in here. Okay. Enemy key personnel. John Lecroft. Daughter of L L Lara Croft. Sorry, this was a joke. <laughs> I'm really sorry about the jokes here. I'm just reading all the names, and some of them are quite known. Let's hope we also have them. Karl Bolle, Paul Baumer, Alfred Lindeberger, Otto Löffler, Otto Fruner, Bruno Lörzer, Eduard von Schleich, Friedrich von Ro This guy. We fucked this guy, remember? He killed one of ours. Theodor Daumann, Emil Zua, Harald Aufran, Aufhart. <laughs> Hans von der Martwitz, Jön Resch, Josef Resch, sorry, Georg Meyer and Robert von Greim. Okay, so we have a few aces, most of them are with Jaste 2 and. Yeah, yeah, most of them are with Jaste 2. And they are flying a much better plane. But anyway, let's grab a mission. Let's hope it's something nice. Okay, it's a defensive patrol. Patrol airspace near Saint Leger. Engage any enemy aircraft that you encounter. Reconnaissance and artillery spotting aircraft are the primary target. Saint Paulitz, Waldei Strubel, Ulf Menzing. So we are two. Two of us patrolling over here where all enemies are. This could be a short campaign. <laughs> okay, as always, um, this is Iron Man. High, high, medium. Not the moving front because that is not really working. So let's see. Um, we got really no one that is experienced. So, this will be quite a hard campaign, I guess, because we have no one that can look after us. Let's call, see the mission AI. Uh, campaign preference. Maximum injury, four. And this is last beat of the drum. I'm going to start the mission now. And I see you guys on the... Strip. No, I'm seeing you guys in the hangar because I want to show you the plane a bit. Not the only the strip bit. Whatever. I see you. And hello everyone and welcome to the mission. Okay, let's see. At the hangar. And here's our problem. So I can't choose the 76 skin because it's not there. But it should be there because I've seen it already in other planes. I need to look that up. I guess it is a PVCG problem because it should be at default paint scheme then. But it's not. It's just a regular something skin. Most of the false skins are looking pretty samey. But well, 
Um, I guess we're going with the 61 because it's black and I like it and you have to deal with it. Oh. So... Yeah. There it is. This is the skin I'm searching for. This is not a false. This is a... Fokker something. This is an albatross. This is an albatross. Oh well. Maybe we'll find out what happened here. Okay, let's see. We don't have the culminator because we just arrived at the front and this is just for the good pilots. Don't know if this uh, was the way in reality, but I'm going with it. We are wearing a blue scarf and sporting a white streamer. Because once again, we are with Bavaria. These are our colors. Okay, I'm having a Luger P8 with me. Okay, this is just some info on the faults. But if you want info on the faults, just watch my info video. Okay, um, let's go with less fuel because we are sporting a really heavy plane. We don't need the extra fuel to make us even slower. 1000 shots, because you can never have too much ammunition on the plane. If you think you have too much ammunition, just going to shoot. Just shoot. It will change your world. Okay, let's see. We are here in a DX8. We got Mr. Menzing with that. And he's sitting in a D3. Interesting. This is a false D3, and not a uh, albatross. You can see the difference in the tail section. And of course, from the upper wing, it's not albatrossy at all. But the engine block is looking quite similar. And from the side, it's a bit hard to spot. Anyway, we are not flying the D3, we are flying the. This nice looking fella here. Look at that engine. <laughs> the true power. Okay, um, I'm going to let this thing turned on because it's easier for you to see what I'm doing here and see the speeds and get a bit more knowledge about the plane. So, ailerons are working, radars working, hike radars working. Yeah, so I guess we are ready to go. Let's check what my button for the radiator was. Okay, this is open, this is close. White streamer. So, here's my airspeed. Um, we have 4 kilometers an hour right now, because this is just measur measuring the speed the wind is going by. And of course, if you are standing still and it's windy like today, that will tell us we are faster than we actually are. Okay, what else do we have here? This is our fuel. This is our oil. No, this is the fuel, benzene. Okay, so, so this is our oil. And hand pump. Okay, let's ignite uh, the engine by turning this magneto to the right side. Also hitting E on your keyboard. Is the window polished? Yes, the window is polished. Let's get into a nice shooting position. This I really like it about this plane. You can always see your RPM with just one look. It makes it really easy to dive. Okay. Let's ignite the engine here. And get going. So really, you really don't need to worry about the wind when it's blowing on your back. It's just a problem when it's coming from the sides because then your plane will do all sorts of weird stuff before you're able to take off. You have inline engines, so you don't need to really worry about the torque. Just give a bit of counter rudder, not too much. Okay, let's get straight and we have on. This is a really loud engine, but I like it because it sounds really healthy. Okay, let's wait for our buddy here to take off. I will use my regular instruments. Uh, sometimes I will just look at airspeed because I can do anything else. Because it's right there, it's hard to overlook. But it's easier for you, I guess, if I just ignore it. I not ignore it, if I just let it turn on, because it's really hard to see on YouTube. Like, could you tell right now how fast I'm going? 
I am going 120 kilometers an hour. And well, you will see me using this thing, uh, all the other stuff, even though I could just theoret theoretically just look at my bottom screen there. Okay, let's get some altitude going and um, also open the radiator. Otherwise, my engine will get quite hot. Let's take a look at the thermometer. Yeah, <laughs> we have been running hot. All right, okay, let's let's fully open it so we can cool it down a bit. Ulf is behind us. Ulf is a really weird name, even for German standard. And as you might know, we have really weird names. If my microphone quality is changing here sometimes, and uh, sometimes I have to take my headset off so the engine won't scream while yes, while well, I'm trying to talk here. The game is much louder than it will come out at YouTube, so you can hear my quality commentary. My quality English. Let's, let's call it premium English. Because you are only you are the only ones getting to hear it. And there's a reason for that, because it's shitty. <laughs> And I'm sorry about that. So, um, if you're new to the channel, welcome to this channel. I'm bored of the dwarf. Emil the elf is still at his master exam, so he won't be joining us for quite a while now. After that, he will write his diploma. So, I'm not sure how much how longer it will take him. At some point, he will join us here. And I have this channel, so I can improve my English. So, if I'm saying something wrong. I know I'm mixing up time zones, I know about my bad grammar, I'm working on it, trust me that one. Uh, but I'm, if I'm doing really, really bad uh, mistakes with words and wordings, uh, just tell me. Because this is the only way I'm going to improve. The whole idea is that I'm talking constantly here, so I get a much more fluid pronunciation. And I'm getting much better with finding words in my brain than when I... What is he doing there? Oh yeah, he's much slower. I forgot. No, he's not slower. He's faster than me. Come on, keep up, man. You are ridiculous. No, so um, it's much easier for me to find words in my brain now. I'm not getting stuck at everything and I think I'm talking way more fluent than before. Before I spoke like that because I oh, needed to find the words. <laughs> this time's over. I'm still talking kind of hacked off but not as bad as before. Well enough talk about this channel, more talk about the war. So um, we are relatively at the end, there are only two more months to go. So with a bit of luck he will be the first pilot surviving this whole thing here. At least that is what I'm counting on. I have to go slower. I'm completely outrunning him here. Oh, this is alright. I can do that. So I guess it will take a while until we meet opposition. So I will just do a jump cut here. And I see you guys if something is happening or we passed any interesting waypoints as always as always there are some interesting looking lakes here I think I would like this area multiplayer because it will be much easier to orientate yourself interesting okay everyone um, I'm doing a cut here see you later Even though I had a lot of good attention, <laughs> I did hang up my body here. Well, let's meet up again. Oh, what do we have here? Some enemy planes. I want to meet up with Wolf around here. Okay, let's get my altitude swaddle going.
uh, flying the FOD or the later Fokker F and you really want to have the altitude sort of somewhere where you can reach it easily. Yes, it makes a whole lot of difference if you're going 150 or if you're going 190 when you engage an enemy. And for my part I always like to have a whole lot of speed when I'm encountering the enemy. Because then I can do the whole first pass, go straight up and come down on them and don't need to go into this whole turning maneuver. Talking about turning maneuvers, I don't know if these are enemies, but they could be. Okay, I'm hanging up the faults here. SE5Es. Okay, those are a big, big problem. Okay, pull up, go right. These guys have the fastest plane in the whole game. And they don't seem to be interested in me. Okay, now they're turning. Turning is good, because they turn way worse than we are. Damn it, this was a miss. Come on, man, get into the fight. What is he doing? He's going home or something. Talking about sluggish turning. This is sluggish. Okay, they choose to go after him. One of them is pretty hurt. I got much more firepower than them. Uh, that's not keeping them from shooting at me, of course. He landed the perfect hit. I'll have to give him that. Okay. Let's return the favor. I'm losing oil here. Pretty fast. I need to get home soon. Actually, let's tell our guy to go home right now. Because we won't be able to survive this much longer. If I'm dying right now, I will just get another mission. They are flying weird. Let's do a snap roll here. Damn it. Too much, too much, too much. Okay, get out of the spin. Come on, man. Get out of the spin. Whoa. Subway's camels. Oh shit. Oh shit. Things just got much problem or problematic. Six enemy planes against the two of us. Okay, let's get away. Run home. Fuck the demo. The camels are engaging uh, my body here. I have to at least get them away from me. I even can get a sheep shot. So reload everything here. And fire away. I can see anything. Okay. Let's get down. There's an Aco DH4. <laughs> What's happening? Okay, let's get some speed here. Off. Turn on the altitude throttle. Don't move, because if I'm moving, my brain plane will break apart. I'm going way too fast for this maneuver. Okay, turn around here. Get some more speed going. I don't know my, how much oil I have left can see that oh god it's at zero so my engine will give up at any second and my machine guns won't work once they do anyway I'm going to put some shots into him here whoa oh pretty good okay get back up they're not following me they are following my body and they let alone this DH4 and I got the DH4 and I think I got his gunner. Let's reload the machine guns. As long as he's turning around like that, I don't really need to worry about his gunner anyway. Because he won't get a clear shot. It's only a problem when he's doing going straight. Okay. Shit, 
This gun has a life. I just saw traces whipping past me. I put a lot of holes into him. Didn't think he'd want to go down right now. But he is losing coolant, so he will go down. No matter how this is going to end, I'm going to claim him as a kill. Because after you shot the coolant of such a big plane, it has maybe five minutes, maybe less, to go straight. And if he's not going behind front lines right then, he will never be able to. Also, he's flying pretty low, so he's a good target for our flag. Let's not crash into him. Yeah, I think I need to let him go. I need to get away here. There are bots everywhere. I can't aim. Let's look at uh, the map where the next airport is. Like about this way. There's also a little forest. Can hear my engine getting out. Okay, I'm trying to land on the field here. Can I turn off the engine? Or do I? I turn it lower. So I don't want to destroy the engine. Because if you let it running without oil, it pretty much will be dead. Or like irreparable dead in real life. So, uh, I want to preserve it. They are following me. This watch uh, was, was a really bad engagement there. I guess we got the stage 4. This is an uh, English two-seater, by the way. I don't know if he had bombed exploded or something. Because I can't see anything. Okay. It's not lens there because I have this feeling that I would crash into the trees if I needed it. Just use the rest of my engine power to get straight. Always remember the expensive part about your plane is the engine. Ah, damn it. Okay, I think I survived there. Yeah, I can still move the plane. So I did the whole flip thing. But it's not as bad as it could be. Let's take a look at the enemy. I shot at one of the subways. None of them is damaged. This is an RE8. This is one of the SC5As. Bristol. This is a DH4 I put some holes into. Not many holes as it looks. Oh, these are big bombs. And a lot of them. So, first mission. Well, I survived. That's gonna say. The SE5 crashed. Let's see how my guys are faring. Oh, Fokker Sams. And the Arbitrus. Okay, my guy is not on the screen anymore. Let's hope he despawned not have gone straight to the box. Okay, I will just let the simulation run a bit longer and then I'm going to end it and I see you guys at the debriefing. Okay, and welcome to the debriefing. So, the plane finally crashed at some point. Let's get some music going. I know, I know, this sound is weird. Can't do anything about it. Okay, combat report. Victories claimed. One. We got a uh, SE5A. Submit a report. Even though I would like to claim the other one, I uh, just didn't have. Okay, so we're going up there. C5A damaged. C5A damaged. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? 
Das Fliegerlied. Flieger, wo ist mir die Sonne? <lacht> Sorry, I really like the song. Um, SE5A, damaged by Walter Eistrubel. Damaged? Walter Eistrubel damaged by SE5A? This was the guy that shot me right through the fuselage. Okay, Aqua Deed 4, damaged. Ulf Menzing destroyed by Sopper's Camel, so one of the Soppers got him. Then I was trying to get away. And I was damaged by Noten, this was me landing, destroyed by SC5A. And that's it. Not a kill awarded to me. Too bad, because I really thought I really had this guy, he was smoking on all kinds of holes. Debrief completed. Pilot lost, Ulf Menzing. We regret to inform command that Ulf Menzing has been killed in action. Too bad. Oh well, we didn't get a yeah, claim denied for SC5A. Oh, it's bad. Could be worse. Finished reading. Okay, we got our first mission. Oh, and we did pretty well. <laughs> Seeing how many enemies we had against us. Well, this was working out pretty okay. Okay, good. The uh, skin changed. Oh, you still have the same skin now. Okay, I need to find another picture for him then. And with that, I'm going to end this episode. I hope you are will ignore that I just lost my words because <laughs> I saw this guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's a schnitzler. So um, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and you will turn on in the next episode when it's again time to play Rise of Light with the False Twelve, <laughs> the retarded brother of the Fokker Seven. <laughs> Sorry, I really have to say that. Alphards is not a bad play in the multiplayer, but it is in campaign. And in reality. And with that words, I'm saying goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.